It wasn't a terrible weekend. I mean, we did have quite a bit of time where there wasn't a whole lot of rain coming down. We were just kind of misting or filtered sunshine, so we did get a chance to get out. But normally, most days, it was fairly cool over the weekend and running well below our normal highs, which should be in the mid to upper 50s right now. And uh, yesterday out at SeaTac, well, we didn't uh, make it anywhere near our, uh, we made it near our uh, normal high. We got up to 55, just a degree uh, less than uh, 56, which is the normal now. The interesting thing, though, is we still had a little bit of breeze yesterday, and with that, it felt chilly yesterday afternoon. Though Briefly, when the wind died down, I thought, boy, that almost feels warm. So that passed very quickly, that's for sure. Looking out from our uh, tower cam there up in Everett, you can see some rain on the lens and quite a bit of rain overnight. A pretty strong front moving through right as we speak. As a matter of fact, right now, it's been moving through overnight, and the back edge of it's going to pass through pretty quickly. You see our waterfront camera looking pretty wet this morning. Doppler radar showing some moderate to heavy rainfall in this front, but you see the back edge of it just beginning to slide uh, over the uh, Kitsap Peninsula. So that's going to move across Puget Sound during the next half an hour, 45 minutes, and the steady heavy rain we've had overnight will turn to off and on showers. Gusty uh, winds 35 to 45 miles per hour. Those will be continuing, though, through the day, and we will see a chance of a few thunderstorms this morning, a better chance of seeing thunderstorms as we head towards this afternoon. Check out the wind gusts from uh, maximum wind gusts we've seen from some of our school nets site. South Kitsap uh, Senior High School there in Port Orchard, 43 miles per hour. Issaquah Grand Ridge Elementary School, 41 miles per hour. And Tahoma High School at 36 miles per hour starting off the day. You can see out there along the coastal beaches looking wet and uh, also there at Shorecrest High School in Shoreline, a wet morning. Temperatures pretty mild. We're in the low to mid 40s most spots to start off the day. Satellite image shows this front moving on through. Cool shower air behind it is going to kind of swing it over us. That's going to sit over us. Uh, quite a few showers and some potentially heavy showers this afternoon. We'll continue with afternoon showers and maybe a thunder shower uh, tomorrow as well. Things will quiet down as we head towards Wednesday, and then we're going to just settle into a pattern of just a few showers mixed with sunshine, it looks like, for the remainder of the week and on into the weekend with temperatures remaining fairly chilly. So overall, our forecast for today. But steady heavy rain turning to off and on showers uh, here in the next hour. It's going to be breezy out there. Uh, those winds will die back a little bit with wind gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour during the day. And there would be quite a bit of sun. Actually, I think once we get to around uh, oh, 08 to 9 o'clock this morning, there might be quite a bit of sunshine around until midday before the showers start to pick back up again. Look for showers and uh, increase tomorrow and then those showers will increase in the afternoon with a chance of a thunderstorm highs in the upper 40s. Decreasing showers Wednesday and then Thursday all the way through Sunday. Partly sunny, just a slight chance of a shower each day. So timing will be important for getting your walks in. We'll look for those high temperatures warming up a little bit, getting into the low to mid 50s as we head towards the weekend, but probably still running at least a degree or two below our normals as we slide on towards the weekend. So uh, just keep an eye on the Doppler radar and uh, when the sun comes out, head out there. Though never a bad idea to have your Gore-Tex along.